You were the last, one, last one seen with her. So right now, it's a lot of is facing you right now, son. This is 14-year-old Aiden Fuji, questioned by his parents after he was caught in the murder of his 13-year-old classmate, Tristan Bailey. But this begs the question, how did a young teen like Aiden murder someone? Just listen to this clip of his friend. He has said he, like, he, he said, like, he, like, his knife, he wanted to, like, slit somebody's throat. And, like, he said it'd be satisfying. He's talked about killing people. He's talked about fighting people. I've seen him practice stabbing motions with his knife. Just imagine such blatant red flags, yet no one actually thought that a child like Aiden would literally murder someone. Speaking of murdering someone, it all began on the 8th of May, 2021, when Aiden and his friend Trey got together and planned a night at Trey's house. Before he went to his place, however, he got in contact with Tristan on a video call and convinced her to come with him to Trey's house, something which was confirmed by her sister. Afterward, the two went to Trey's place around midnight, this was again confirmed by CCTV footage on a neighboring house, which clearly shows Aiden walking briskly toward his friend's place. After spending an hour at Trey's place, the two left and started walking toward the end of the street. As you can see in this clip, this occurred between 1.25 and 1.45 a.m. Sadly, this was the last time we see Tristan alive. What followed was something out of a horror film. We later find out that Aiden lured her to a deserted wooden area, and when he saw that he couldn't be seen, stabbed Tristan with his knife 114 times. Yes, you heard that right. Imagine being that bloodthirsty. He then left her mutilated body in the woods, and around 3.27 a.m., he ran back home, as seen in this clip. You can see that he's carrying something in his hands. In this CCTV footage, you can see he's carrying something, which most likely seems like his shoes. Aiden thought he'd gotten away with the crime he so desired to do after all this time, but little did he know, soon he'll be caught. The next day, Tristan's parents are alarmed about their missing daughter and alarm the authorities. The last people that saw her are called upon for their alibis, which includes Aiden, who lies and says that Tristan was hanging out with the drug dealer, and it took him two hours to walk back home. Which didn't convince the police. He was already a suspect when a runner found Tristan's dead mutilated body in the woods. Instantly, the police summoned Aiden and his parents and started to question him rigorously. You walked away, you came straight home, you didn't turn back around and see where she went. As you can see, throughout the questioning by his parents, Aiden seems pretty laid back and calm. He does not show any kind of remorse of any kind. This is pretty sick, considering his heinous crime. However, he does not plead to his crime, even though the authorities were pretty certain he'd done it. During his questioning, the police raided the Fuchi's home, and uncovered a lot of evidence from Aiden's room. Stuffed next to his dresser, they found a pair of wet Nike shoes with blood on them, matching the outfit Aiden wore in the surveillance footage. And stuffed under the dresser, authorities found a blooded t-shirt and a pair of wet blue denim jeans, which matched the outfit Aiden wore that day. But as if that wasn't enough, authorities also found that the drain in the bathroom sink had traces of blood and dirt. This included a white blood-stained shirt and shoes, and wet blue denim jeans, which matched the outfit seen in the footage from the night of the 8th of May. This clearly confirmed that Aiden indeed had done the deed. After years, finally, a verdict was given for his case. Mr. Fucci, having entered a plea of guilty to the crime of first-degree murder, I adjudicate you guilty of the premeditated first-degree murder of Tristan Bailey. I sentence you to life in prison. Because of your age, you are eligible for a review of the sentence in 25 years. It's safe to say that he got what he deserved, and such a crime cannot be tolerated even if a minor committed it. Speaking of which, this case should be a lesson for parents to focus more on their children, because like Aiden, they could go down the wrong path. No child deserves a death like Tristan Bailey suffered. Please take care of your children, everyone.
That's a wrap. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a new video from us. What do you think about this horrific event? Do let us know in the comments down below.